So in this video, we're gonna do a little bit of data validation in our forms. In this form, we made some fields. And for example, we have this name, your name field. For right now, if I preview this form, if I try to enter no name and I try to hit submit, it's gonna give you this because, well, name is required. However, if I just type one character and I hit submit, see, it will accept that. That is no longer invalid input. So that's probably not a valid name. So what we can do, we can say that you have to enter at least certain number of characters. So if I click on this field, after I have this field, I'm gonna go below here and this little, I don't know what this is, dots. I'm gonna go response validation. And here we can validate it in different ways. So it's not a number. I'm going to check the length and I wanna make sure that minimum character count is three. And then we can also do some custom errors. So instead of just generic error, we can say, please enter a valid name. Something like this. So now if I, let me leave this, preview this again. See, I go back here under your name, I enter one character, hit submit. It's gonna say, please enter a valid name. And two characters should be getting the same. If I add another character, that should go through. So that's how we can check that the response is at least that many characters long. Let me add another one. Now, by adding another question, you can always go on this plus and click add a question, right? But if you already have something that's pretty close to what you need, I can go here and click on this duplicate icon. It's just gonna make a copy of that. I'm gonna change this to age. And I want a box that's gonna let people type how old they are. And for this, it's gonna be a number. I'm gonna change that to a whole number. And this will be your age. And now it should require this field to be a number. I go under preview and see if we enter something like this. It's gonna give us this. We need to enter a number. And now it will go through. So that's how we can validate for a number. Leave this. You can also obviously do things like text and you could check if that text contains a piece of text. So you can say contains text or doesn't contain text. If you have a URL, like you're asking for the website, you could do text URL validation and it would check if it's a valid URL that was entered. Otherwise it's gonna give them an error and you can also do a custom message. And finally, once you're done with these basic types of validation, you can also do regular expression. Now I'm gonna ask people for their age. I'm gonna have to do a pattern. So you can do contains, doesn't contain, matches. In this case, I'm gonna say matches. So it needs to match a particular pattern. I want them to enter their age. In regular expression, I'm gonna want them to enter some numbers. And I think that valid ages would be if they enter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then like all of these would be valid ages. Some people will be over a hundred, I guess, but nobody will probably be a thousand year old. So we don't want to allow four characters long number. So to do this, I'm going to do the first character and that will be between one and nine. And I don't want zero in there because shouldn't be allowed as a first character. And then I'm gonna do a second character between zero and nine. And then a third character between zero and nine. Now, as of right now, 
if I try this, if I enter, where is this? Website, let's change that. This will be age. So as of right now, if I try this, let me do a preview. If I enter one, it will not accept it because the only match will be when we have a three digit number like this, one, three, two. So this will go through. And if I do zero, three, two, that will not go through because the first character we said is supposed to be between one and nine. But we want people to be able to enter five or 18 or 19 or really most of valid ages would be like two digit or one digit, right? So now this is not gonna work because it's only gonna ask them for a three digit number. And we need to explain that these two are optional. So to do that, I'm going to do this question marks. And then if I go back and preview this, check this again. So three, submit. See, that will pass the condition. If I leave it empty, that doesn't pass. If I do a zero, it still doesn't pass. If I do one, that should pass. And if I do 15, that's also okay. If I do 120, that is also okay. But if I do 1,400 years old, that will be not a matching pattern. Now this one says must match pattern, probably not the best error message. So let's go ahead and also fix that really quickly. We're gonna go here and do must be valid age. So basically what we did with regular expression here, we did the first character is between one and nine, the second character between zero and nine, but question mark after that, it says it's an optional character. And then the third character is between again, zero and nine. And again, question mark after that, indicating that that third character is also optional. And that's our custom regular expression. Now with regular expression, you can do a lot of more complicated stuff, right? And that's kind of the benefit of being able to use regular expression. And it's not easy to learn, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'll just give you some basic ideas about what regular expression is. But then if you want to go more in depth, you should be just studying regular expression on its own. So we could also ask people to enter a zip code, right? So if I copy this zip code, let's say it's a five digit zip code. And here, what we could do, we could do zero to nine, zero to nine, and we would do this five times. You could do this. But easier way to do this is to do this curly brackets and do five. And that means five of this, which is zero to nine. Now, if you want to allow some other type of characters, you're gonna do those two. But this should be five digit zip code. So if I go back and look, zip code, see, I enter, five digit text should not be accepted. I enter more, still not accepted. I enter one number, not good enough. Five digits, that will pass. So let's say we want to validate a Canadian zip code and I'm not exactly sure how those zip codes are, but I think it's something like this. I think it's like three characters, space, and then three more characters, something like that. And to do that, we'll go here. And first we need to do three characters. I'm not entirely sure if it has to be like first character alphabetic and then the second one numeric. I apologize if anybody from Canada is watching and thinking like, what an idiot are you? But I'll just go with three characters 
space and three more characters and I'm not gonna think that there is a particular numeric character in there. For this I'm going to do well three characters and those three characters should be either numbers or letters. So for that I'm gonna do this that's all lower cases and then all upper cases and then all numbers and we're gonna need three of these. I'm gonna copy that because I'm gonna need another one of that again. Then after that we need a space so in regular expression the space will be this underscore s and then I'm gonna paste that same thing again to have the second set of three numbers. So I'm gonna type some error message And let's preview this, see how this works. So we have zip code. Again, I try to do something like this. That's not going to go through. Right? Now, if I try to do something like that, see it says must be in this format. Doesn't accept that. So This is no good. Now with a space, see, all good. It accepts this format. Obviously, if the second character must be a number, then you would just say, instead of doing this, you would just say, well, the first character is this. Then the second character would be between zero and nine. And then you would repeat this again. something like this and now it's going to require the second one to be a number and first one to be a letter and third one to be a letter. So that's what we call a set in regular expression. So if you want this to be just particular characters then you don't have to do A to Z. So we can do A through H that will accept only characters between this range. You can also just type characters like this and it's gonna say it's one of these characters. You can do that too. If somebody is interested in a particular type of validation with regular expression, please leave it in comments. I'll probably do a video for that. And that should do it for field validation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.